with uh, letter H, the ion product of water. And this is going to be the ion product of water in aqueous solutions. In aqueous solutions. And aqueous, aqueous solutions are pretty much the only thing we deal with in this course. Uh, so, good. The ion product, or the product of the hydrogen and hydroxide concentrations is always the same number. And let me write that out for you in equation form. And here I'm using square brackets around uh, the H plus. So square brackets around the H plus means concentration of H plus in molarity. So I'll write that up top. Square brackets means concentration of whatever's in the bracket. So concentration in this case of H plus in molarity. So the concentration of H plus in molarity times the concentration of hydroxide in molarity equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. That's the number, and that the number is called the ion product constant of water. The ion product constant of water. And that has the symbol K sub W, that's capital K, and lowercase subscript W. Okay. Now, um, the, so let me write this uh, in a slightly different version uh, that might motivate this third statement here. So uh, I will now solve for, let's say, uh, hydroxide ion. So I will take the hydrogen ion over to the other side. So just rearranging this equation, the concentration of hydroxide equals Kw, which is equal to the number 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, over the concentration of hydrogen ion. So as hydrogen ion concentration increases, hydroxide ion concentration decreases. And for a more in-depth study, uh, we'll have to wait a little bit to get a little more advanced in our chemistry. So uh, we're going to, uh, and I'm happy to talk about that more in office hours uh, or at any time in email. But for now, uh, this is a true statement. That's the level for this course. And as one goes up, the other goes down in aqueous solutions. So as concentration of hydrogen ion increases, the concentration of hydroxide ion must decrease so the product stays constant. And one interpretation of that is, um, as we'll see, since H plus is our ambassador or what we think of when we think of acids, and hydroxide strong acids in particular, but all acids. And hydroxide is what we think of when we think of bases. The more uh, acidic something is, another way of looking at it is the less basic it is when it's more acidic. Uh, and now let's say a little bit more about acidic and basic solutions. So just like we said, all aqueous solutions contain both hydrogen and hydroxide ions and neutral solutions have equal concentrations of each of these. And so if these two are equal, and if we call the concentration of hydrogen ion X, then hydroxide is also equal to that. And we plug in, and I'm gonna probably use all this space, so I'm gonna start a little closer to the edge here. So uh, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, uh, from the last sheet, and that's a point there, is equal to concentration of uh, hydrogen ion times concentration of hydroxide ion. And now, since they're equal and we're calling them x, it's going to be x times x or x squared. Okay. So rewriting this. as 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 equals x squared, and then taking the square root of each side, I get 1.0 times 10 to the minus seven as the value of x, 
These are units of concentration, and so that is a concentration of molarity. And that is the concentration of hydrogen ion and the concentration of hydroxide ion in a neutral solution. And uh, technically, this is all occurring at room temperature or approximately 25 degrees Celsius. Um, uh, and again, we'll have to wait to more ad advanced studies before we talk about uh, temperatures other than 25 degrees Celsius. Now, um, acidic solutions have a larger concentration of hydrogen ion than hydroxide ion. And so based on this, as one gets larger, the other gets smaller. Acidic solutions have a larger concentration. So they have concentration of hydrogen ion. Excuse me, that's a little scribble there. Greater than 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh molarity, whereas hydroxide in acidic solutions is less than that. Okay. One goes up, the other goes down. Uh, and basic solutions is just the opposite. Hydroxide and hydrogen ion less than. Now uh, we have gotten far enough to talk about pH. pH is a logarithmic scale, and I'll give the pH equation that we'll use in this class. pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion in molarity. And uh, so what that means is that the pH is the power or exponent of hydrogen. Or hydrogen, really the hydrogen ion, if you will. Okay. Uh, now there's, uh, this equation is great uh, when we solve problems coming up that have the concentration of hydrogen ion that you calculate, and then you can find pH. Sometimes you'll want to, you'll have the pH and you'll be interested in finding the concentration of hydrogen ion. Um, so what we need to do is we now need to take this equation and isolate H plus in terms of the pH. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do some math here. I will uh, take the negative of both sides. That makes the pH side have a negative and the log side have a plus. And then I'm going to take the 10 to the of both sides. So I get 10 to the minus pH equals 10 to the log H plus, okay? Now log and 10 to the, or taking the power of 10, those are mathematical opposites. So they will cancel out and you're left with, on the right-hand side, concentration of H plus, and on the left-hand side, 10 to the minus pH. So if you have pH and you wanna find the concentration of hydrogen ion, then uh, you can now use this equation. Let me see, on my calculator, uh, I have a log button, and then right above that, I'm not sure if you can see that, there we go, I have a 10 to the X button, and that means I have to hit shift to do 10 to the X. And we'll have a uh, reason to use uh, both of those buttons coming up. Now, um, there's one other thing we can do, and that's often useful, and that is, let's go back to our uh, uh, ion product equation. And when we did that, we had concentration of H plus, times concentration of hydroxide uh, equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. This time, mathematically, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take the negative log of both sides. 
and let's see, I will separate this for our notes to keep them uh, kind of organized. And now I will do negative log of the left hand side and I will do negative log of the right hand side. And then let's see what we get. Well, uh, let's deal with the left hand side first. When you have two numbers that are multiplied in together inside a logarithm, when you bring and separate them out, they will be added. So this term becomes minus log concentration of H plus, plus, still the minus log, minus log concentration of hydroxide ion equals minus log of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Well, if I enter 1.0 exponent 14 minus, and then I hit my log button, I get minus 14. I have a minus here. Those two minuses cancel out and I'm left with just 14. So uh, mathematically now, we're close to being done and having an equation that will also be useful to us, I think. The negative log of the concentration of hydrogen, why that's just pH. The negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, well, we haven't seen that, that before, but we're going to call that pOH because it's the power of hydroxide. And this is equal to 14. So there are three equations that we use quite a bit now. The pH equation, the hydrogen ion concentration in terms of pH, and pH plus pOH equals 14 because it'll turn out sometimes it's easier to find the pOH when we're on our way to pH, as we'll see. And as always, more hydrogen ion equals less hydroxide ion, but always, uh, both are always present. Now we've got an idea about pH. Here are some common pHs. So um, gastric juice in the human stomach is between one and three. Uh, and you'll see that a lot of, but not all, a lot of food items are acidic, uh, while uh, ammonia and uh, some other solutions, cleaning solutions, tends to be basic. especially if they're trying to remove the acid foods. Cleaning up foods, <laughs> not rinsing foods. Um, as a counterexample of that, uh, uh, I would like to suggest that uh, when you have soap scum in your bathroom, that that tends to be a more basic uh, type of um, solid material that's left behind and so oftentimes you'll use an acidic solution and uh, a lot of cleaning turns out has a relationships to acid and base uh, or neutralization reactions. Let's take a minute for sig figs and logs uh, to think about them. So the take-home message from this slide is that, and I'll just write it right here, so when you write pH values, pH values have two decimal places. For all of your answers in this class, that's the, that's the outermost layer of the chemistry onion. As we work our way in, we see that uh, if you have a number that's 2.0 times 10 to the 6, that the 6 number from the exponent is actually the digit number, whether or so the whole number in front, and the 2.0, when you log it, is going to be the decimal places. So when this number has two decimal places, uh, two significant figures, sorry, uh, our pH will have two decimal places. And that's a little different than I've said for all the other calculations in this class. I've said that all the other calculations should have three sig figs or the correct number, of course, just to keep it simple. And um, that 
but I, I want to differentiate the pH values should always have two sig figs, which means two decimal places. Okay, uh, the meaning of pH. And uh, really what I want to talk about with this slide is some trends in pH. So uh, the lower the pH, the more acidic the solution. So when pH changes from three to two, and really what I mean is 3.00 to 2.00, we can see here in this graphic on the bottom, 3.0 to 2.0, 3.00 to 2.00, that the concentration of hydrogen ion on the bottom increases by a factor of 10. So a one unit change in pH equals a uh, a factor of 10 change in the concentration. So that's what logs do. Uh, when you take the log of something, you get the exponent. Change the exponent by one, change the pH by one. Okay. Um, the higher the pH, the more basic the solution. So when we change pH from nine to 10, the concentration of hydroxide, or so, Two things. One is the concentration of hydrogen ion decreases. So when pH changes from 9.00 to 10.00, the concentration of hydrogen ion decreases by a factor of 10. And by a factor of 10, it goes from 10 to the minus 9 to 10 to the minus 10. And the concentration of hydroxide increases. By a factor of 10. So there's a couple uh, moving parts when we talk about pH. There are, and by moving parts, I mean things to think about. So there's the concentration of hydrogen, the concentration of hydroxide, and how it relates to pH. Uh, and we just want to keep those trends in mind and understand them uh, because there is always a question on the exam, at least one question, about these kinds of trends.